Hi everybody, this is Calypso Vibes here with Spiritual Healing Energy, here to give you guys another reading. Unfortunately, I do not have the bells currently because I'm now on a different phone, on another phone. So uh, yeah, I unfortunately cannot, um, you know, do the bells, but I will make sure I get your consent to, before I start this reading. If this is your first time here, welcome to the channel. Again, I am Calypso Vibes, a Spiritual Healing Energy Tarot. Um, I am going to do some reading with our ancestors, our spirit guides, our, uh, guardians, you know, our guardians, our, uh, ancestors, you know, angels, all this powerful cosmic energy, all these cosmic beings who may want to con, um, convey and talk to us and let us know what the important message is right now that we need to be paying attention to. If you're unaware, today is also the 13th when I am recording this, which is a powerful day. It is the, the energy of the Divine Feminine during the Lion's Gate, the last day of the Lion's Gate portal. So it is a super, super amplified, powerful day. And I hope you guys have been having a great week manifesting great things getting ready for the 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 week ahead tomorrow um i know a lot of you guys have children possibly like i do going back to school if you're in the south anywhere kids are going back to school tomorrow so it's a good time for parents to start having their houses again in the daytime towards themselves because you know the kids are going to come home be pooped out and that's a great thing we get to get claim our peace back during the day and uh be free flowing energy through our houses again um so yeah, it's just a good time right now to also, while your children are gone, to clean your house. Um, some advice while they're gone, definitely do some house cleaning, like spiritual house cleaning. Like, uh, you know, wash your floors with some powerful spiritual stuff. Sage your house um, while your kids are gone. Open the windows. A lot of people seem to not know that. If you have smudge spray and you don't use smoke, smudge spray and open the windows. I know it's hot. Just open the windows for 30 minutes. I don't care how much heat come in. You got to do it. You got to you gotta sage, um, smudge, Palo Santo stick, whatever it is you use, and open the windows, okay? Um, and then, um, you know, cleanse your floors with some clean, you know, powerful protection cleansers. Um, this is a good time to re-salt your front door and your back door, Um if you got a brick wall, if you you know what I'm talking about, the fiery brick wall stuff that you can use um, to put at your front door and your back door, do that. Um, Casarillo, I think it's called, the where it's like the cracked eggshells, the outer eggshells, you know, put that at your front and back doors and at your windows. Um, I just did my, my on my whole house. Um, well, not my whole house. I actually got to do two rooms that I need to do tomorrow. Um, but yeah, you know, put your, you know, re-fortify all your windows, your front and back doors, your back, like even your garage door. Don't forget, a lot of people I think forget the garage door. I almost forgot my garage door. Do your garage door as well. Energy, especially if you go in and out taking trash, that means it's a doorway. All right. So do your garage door as well. Um, you know, spray smudge on the outer of your doors, outer of your windows. It's just time to re-amplify all this protective stuff. Because while we're doing all this powerful manifesting, especially if you're a channeler, um, your light is going to start radiating. And as your, right, your light starts radiating, you're going to attract the dark, right? So you need to make sure you have powerful protection tools at your front door and your back door, your windows, all that shit around your house um as your light gets brighter you, you're definitely going to attract darker darker things trying to come to you and uh your children so if you can I, I i highly advise getting some talisman for your children uh protect well, buy them some protective amulets or protective talisman to wear i don't care if your children don't like it put it in their backpacks something like all children nowadays need to start wearing spiritual things I'm about to make sure everybody in my house is wearing something. I don't care if they like it or not, but you're not going to be coming in and out of my house without wearing some type of protective barriers on you to start protecting your energy. Um, Because it's very important that we start protecting our energies and uh, what we allowing to come in and out of our house, right? Because no matter how spiritual you are, you need to make sure everybody in your house is starting to protect themselves, whether it's wearing bracelets, necklaces, talisman, amulets in their bags, all kinds of stuff, right?
especially your children, you guys. Definitely look up protective talisman and, and protective amulets they can wear and protective talisman they can put in their backpacks to keep them safe keep them safe while they're at school dealing with all this chaotic energy in these schools, all right? And get some protective necklaces and bracelets they can wear. I, my, I don't play when it comes to my kids, okay? So make sure you do the same with yours. Um, What else can I think about um, before I start? Um, Yeah, Spirit really wanted me to convey that because I know it's that time of year when kids are going back to school. And um, we got to start protecting our children. I think that's the greatest message. I should have talked about that today on my channel. I'm a little disappointed with myself. I'll do that tomorrow um, on my Calypso Vibes channel. If you guys don't know, I have a personal YouTube channel you can check out, Calypso Vibes. I'm actually starting to create talking content there. That way you can see me on camera much more there than you probably will on here. Because here it's really about the divination, the oracles, the... The runes. By the way, like I said, y'all are going to start seeing me use so many of my divination tools. I'm going to try water scrying here soon as once I feel more comfortable with it and uh, other things that I'm working on. Um, but in the meantime, in between time, I hope y'all support my journey. Um, I plan to do a lot of out in nature videos of me traveling, hopefully traveling the world, divinating from different parts in the world. Um, what else? Oh. Uh, that's about it. Um, I appreciate you if you are here with me. Sorry, I'm trying to put this crystal on my on my thigh. It's a citrine, if you're wondering. Big old citrine chunk, right? Really good for your sacral sacral chakra, right? And to put on your back and stuff. Smoky quartz, amethyst, you know, tourmaline, you know clear quartz stuff like that is all around me my altar full of crystals that y'all need to know about because can't be giving the devil all the keys to what i got around my house and myself right now <laughs> but um regardless i appreciate you guys being here now this is the part where i'm gonna ask consent may i have your permission to flow into your energy so that i could do this reading of what the divine wants us all to know and to commune with and i ask now may i be allowed to flow into your energy so where you say yes so that I, my ancestors, spirit guides, and spirit team may connect with your ancestors, spirit guides, and spirit team at this time. If your answer has been yes, I appreciate you giving me permission to flow into your energy. Don't forget, if this is your first time here, like, share, subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you know when I go live. And when I post videos, um, I went live for the first time today before yesterday. So if you missed that, hopefully y'all will catch me uh, the next time I go live. Hopefully I'll be able to go live hours when people will be actually on and stuff. Um, but yeah, don't forget to like, 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 share, you guys. Please share this with a friend, a parent, a loved one, a partner, anybody you want to you know, have their spiritual awakening and go on their spiritual journey or just a friend you want to share this with who could use my beautiful positive energy that'll light their world up. And if you haven't, go check out, if you are a new subscriber and you know you like my content, please go check out my other videos. There's so much information, information. they are timeless. <coughs> that means when you see them and they pop up on your little YouTube channel, Spirit is telling you, nudging you to watch it, okay? So my videos are timeless and you know take what resonates and what doesn't, you know, let it fly, right? Also, no, I will never message you. I will never scam you. I'm a bit, I keep forgetting to say that on all my videos because there's toxic scammers out here. So just know I will never message you first. Okay, don't get scammed. I will never message you first. I repeat, I will never message you first. All right? So, Spirit, what is it you want me and the collective to know? Guardians of the four corners, Mother and the Earth, Father in the sky, angel ancestors, spirit guides, sacred ones, I call on you and welcome you here now during this reading. What is it that you want the world and the collective to know right now? What is it that you want the world and the collective to know right now? What is it you want the world and the collective to know right now? So hopefully you guys been having a great week. Just know I appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You guys like, share, leave a comment. Comments help so much. Even if you just leave a heart and say thank you, Calypso. Gratitude is a beautiful thing. This is an energy exchange. And the best way you can give me, you know, give me thanks is just the right thank you in the comments down below. Let me know how the readings have been resonating with you. 
um, how I'm helping you on your spiritual journey because hopefully I am. If you have any questions, you can ask questions down below. Um, let me, you know, just communicate with me. Introduce yourself. You know what I'm saying? Down below. Um, like I said, I'm going to do a reading when I, uh, um, a giveaway when I hit 100 subscribers. So free support is always appreciated, you guys. It really, really, really is. They told me to shuffle again. I don't know why, but I felt the need to shuffle again. Um, you know, make sure you guys, you know, just subscribe, leave a comment, like, and turn on that notification bell. All right? It's an energy exchange, free support, baby. It don't cost you no money. And... All you get to in in it uh, in exchange, you get to get all this beautiful energy called Calypso vibes, reading to you. All right. So let's see what the ancestors and the spirits would like to commune with us from the spirit realm. What is it that they want the world to know? They want us to go after our goals, persist, encourage, advance. They also want us to go with the flow, let go, rest, manifest. Yeah, when we stop trying to force stuff and trust the process, it'll happen. Re-energize your life, clear, positive space, and harmony. All right, let's see what else. We have earth magic, nature, rituals, and charms. What did I tell y'all about charms? Amulets. That speaks of all that stuff I was talking about. Amulets, protective talisman, charms from out in nature. Like when you go hiking by the lake, collect a seashell. Or if you go hiking, you see a rock on a path. You know what I mean? They want us to laugh and have fun, smile, positive energy, joyfulness. Coming up. I'll show you guys all the cards when I'm done. Sorry, I didn't show the earlier ones. If y'all hear snoring, that's my dog, Nala, sleeping at my feet. Y'all know she loves to be under me. It's my baby. I love her. I love you, Nala Bala. I love you. I appreciate you, Nala, always protecting, loving me. See, I give thanks to even the doggies. Be an open channel, mediumship, ancestor spirits. They hear. They let me know to be a, a, an open channel for them to flow through. I am open. I am ready. I receive the message, spirit, for the good of all and harm to none. To my ancestors and my spirit guides, I am open. I am ready. I receive. To my spirit guides, ancestors, for the good of all and harm to none, I am open. I am ready. I receive. To the spirit guides, ancestors, for the good of all and harm to none. I am open, I am ready, I receive whatever it is that you want the collective to know. I am here trying to help people. They want us to reconnect ooh, with Mother Earth and to connect with animals. Look at that. As I was just saying, talking to my dog with like a love letter to my dog, just like clockwork, got connect with animals. Crazy, right? whole bunch of cars just came through when I told them I was open I was ready to receive whatever it is I think we disrespect animals too much treat your body well mm-hmm have courage mm-hmm the last reading was telling us to be brave and honest I think there's something coming y'all like there's there's I keep getting like the knight the warriors on the forefront like yeah there's something coming where people are going to have to be brave and courageous. Open to love. Relationship, passion, fulfillment. They want to... Oof, that's too much spirit. Come on. I will take... Clear your mind. Move your body. Oh, poor Maui. Prayers to anyone in Maui. Seriously. Like, Maui's been burning, and that card might trigger someone. If you, if you have any loved ones in Maui, I send my love and prayers to you and your family. Hopefully, these cards don't trigger anybody. I, I apologize if it triggers anybody, but let's see what we got first, okay? Let's go through these cards. 
We have go after your goals, persist, encourage, and advance. <clears throat> Y'all know what that means. I, I encourage you, I implore you to pursue and chase your dreams. But do you see this card? It's like a soldier on a battlefield. I said this. There's so much battlefield energy. I hope a civil war ain't coming to this place because that's the vibe I've been getting. This energy is real like war. But it's some the, the, the depiction on these cards been real war heavy, right? But it's telling y'all to be courageous, be persistent, and advance. Don't be afraid to go after your goals. Set boundaries. That's a burp. Go with the flow, let go, rest, manifest. Excuse me. Go with the flow, let go, rest, manifest. It's some confirmation burps. They want y'all to spend time with community. A lot of indigenous energy is in these cards, you guys. This is... Says this is speaking of like a lot of the indigenous cultures. It wants us to go back, right? Go with the flow, right? Like water, spend time by water, learn to sleep, rest, right? Learn to manifest and commune and work with water, right? Let go of what no longer serves you. Let go of the past because it's only harboring you, holding you down. Again, I send all my prayers and love to anyone in Maui. I send love and prayers to all my indigenous homies who have been, you know, really going through it lately. Felt the need to definitely say that. I send big hugs to all my indigenous friends. Re-energize your life. Clear, positive space, harmony. Some of y'all need to re-energize your life, right? Clear, you need to clear your house, which means you need to cleanse sage. I think we all do right now. We need to cleanse it. Um, create harmony in your house, create a positive space that's a safe space for you to know that that's a positive space that makes you a happy, you know, a positive space that makes you happy. Also getting out in nature. Some of y'all need to go on a spiritual retreat. That's how you're going to re-energize your life. Spirit is calling on some of y'all to go on a spiritual retreat, like a spiritual pilgrimage. Um... Some of y'all might need to go to Arizona. Maybe that's why I'm seeing so much indigenous stuff, right? Like, um, go somewhere where you can get some, like, shaman healing, indigenous healing. Like, where they do in, in like, Mexico, all these places that do, like, in, in ancestral cleansing and healing. I think a lot of us need to look up places where we can get, like, cleanse, like, sage, like, a, a shaman. I need to see if there's a shaman in... Texas, because there's all this indigenous energy here. I bet there is. Need to go visit someone. You know what I mean? And and I'll film it for you guys. I'm not gonna film the ritual clearly, but I think it's it it'll be interesting content, right? To to go go visit a shaman and get clean and cleanse, right, with an elder. Then we have earth magic showing up for us. Nature rituals, charms. They want us to commune with nature. Look at the little fairy people. Oh my God. So I had to tell y'all about this experience I had. Out in my backyard, swear to God, I swear, I swear to the universe, this happened, okay? I'm out in my backyard. I'm having a whole bonfire, you know, releasing what no longer serves me during the Lion's Gate portal, doing this powerful, just channeling. I'm doing ancestor venerations, pouring stuff out in the backyard. Um, I'm doing all this just positive stuff to try to lift my vibrations. I'm like, I'm letting go when no longer serves me. Blah, blah, blah. Pouring a whole bunch of water to the spirit guys. I was, I was heavy. I poured this to the fairies. I poured this to the spirit guys. I poured this to the fairies. I, pair, I poured this to the ancestors. I poured this to the angelic realm. I poured this to my angel guys, right? I'm doing all that veneration stuff out there, right? So we're cleaning up. We're wrapping up, cleaning everything up. And I swear on my last set of venerations, <laughs> pouring stuff out. I'm like, I'm pouring, you know, I thank you, nature. I'm saying thank you, nature spirits. Thank you, nature spirits. Thank you, spirit guys. Swear to God. It sounded like someone laughed in my backyard. Like there was laughing sound. And it didn't sound like a person, which is crazy. Like there was this this literal chuckling laughing sound. And I looked at my partner like, 
Okay, you heard that, right? Like, I wasn't tripping, right? Please tell me you heard that. Like, I wasn't going crazy. And he's like, uh, yeah, I heard that. I was like, oh my God, for once I'm not like out here by myself going crazy. So that when I come in and tell him these weird stories that I be experiencing around our house, like I'm not losing my shit. Okay. I'm not crazy. He heard it himself. And I was like, I know that ain't like a, that's like a nature spirit laughing, literally wanting to know. And I was like, oh my God. So are y'all like laughing at me? Or is this just like an acknowledgement, right? Like they hear me channeling to them, right? Cause I was really calling to them with love, like with my whole heart. I was telling Mother Earth, I love you. Thank you. Thank you. I was grounding to her. I was pouring venerations to her, right? And literally as I'm wrapping up and I'm saying, thank you, Nature Spirit, fucking chuckle laugh. Like loudest, you could hear it clear as day, like a chuckle laugh. My neighbors were not outside. Like all of the backyards are blacked out. I'm like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? And I was just like, wow, that was crazy. Like, the confirmation of, oh, no, we hear you. We're here. We hear you. If you don't believe in fairies, you don't believe in nature spirits, I assure you, go outside at nighttime. Do some channel with your whole heart. I'm serious. Channel with your whole heart. That was either an ancestor, spirit guide. I don't know who it was. But it was something <laughs> that wanted us to know as we were going in as I was saying my prayers and thanks to these spirits that they heard me, that the communing, like the communing was heard. And I was just sitting out there tripping balls, like what the hell? It's an experience I probably won't forget, but seriously, go, go channel outside, meditate, pray. If you're not afraid, you can even do it with your kiddos because they love kids because kids have childlike energy, but definitely don't do it if your kids, if you don't like spray them and smudge them, like make sure they got smudge spray and prayers on them, like crystals, carry a crystal um, or wear some type of crystals or something like that. But they do love the kiddos. Um, Cause I had my son out there with me um, also, right? They love childlike energy. So yeah, it was, it was a crazy experience. And I was just sitting there like, I froze like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> like, I had to tell y'all about it because it, it's still sitting with me days later. Like, what the hell was that? Uh-huh. But I definitely think it was, I, I, like, I believe in fairies. I believe in, I don't know if I believe in gnomes. I don't know about that one. Maybe. Maybe some kind of little goblin creatures. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I believe any and everything is possible if you can believe it and think it. I'm serious. Like, if ancestor spirits and aliens exist and mermaids, sirens exist, why the hell can't fairies, elves, and little goblin gnomes exist, right? Like, I, I don't I don't disbelieve anything anymore, right? So take how that resonates for anybody who may if you have a crazy story that you can relate yourself, write it down below. Let me know what your experiences are with nature spirits and stuff. But we have earth magic, nature, rituals, charms. That's why it made me talk about it because it says rituals out in nature. And I'm like, I did that. And that's my experience of doing a ritual out in nature, right? Nature talked back, right? They want you to go hug trees, go water a garden. Some of y'all need to go water a garden. Like if you have, a, you know, a yard and stuff like that. Um, you see these little, little nature goblins? Look. I, that's what it sound like laughed. I swear to God is like what's in this card. Like little, little nature goblins. It, it was crazy. But yeah, they want you out in nature doing rituals. Some of y'all are gardeners. Definitely go do some gardening. Go water your plants. If you don't have a garden, like if you got rose bushes and stuff, go water them. Go hug a tree. Tell a tree, thank you for protecting your house. Um, <clears throat> find some charms out in nature like find a rock that resonates with you like this you know rock you can even ask the nature spirits to leave a rock or around your house that you could use as a protective talisman in your house and ask them like to leave it in the front of your house or in the back of your house like ask them to leave a protective charm for you okay we have laugh and have fun smile positive energy joyfulness 
They want y'all to have fun, whether that's movies, whatever makes you laugh. Watch a comedy, a stand-up comedy, a movie, play some music that makes you feel good. Go hang out with friends. Go out somewhere, maybe like a Dave and Buster's or something that makes you have fun. Go shoot pool, go bowling, go do something that makes you laugh and have fun. They, they really like when you smile. When you smile and you're full of positive energy, you lift other people's energies, right? Just in the vicinity by, by, by proxy, right? It's infectious, right? It's a thing, right? Go out to eat, have a good time with friends or with your significant other, but laugh and have fun at the table, right? Where you just radiate this positive, abundant energy, you know? Be an open channel, mediumship, ancestors, and spirits. So some of y'all might be channelers. Some I could be talking to mediums, a psychic. Um, this could resonate with a medium, a psychic. This could resonate with a, a another tarot reader, another divinator, whether you do scrying, pendulum, bones, um, Ouija board. Mirror scrying, there's so many ways you can do divination, communing with the ancestors, nature, whether you do nature, you know, nature divination, that's like with rocks, seashells, stuff like that. So they want you to be open to communing with your ancestors and your spirit guides and your spirit team in the ancestor realm. They want you to be open and ready to receive, you know, so you say, you can say something like, as a start in a chant, look up things that's like, how do I become a medium to my ancestors? How do I become a medium to my spirit guides? You know, just say prayers to yourself, right? Um, and trust. You have to be trusting. You have to trust that you are protected. But you definitely need to have protective, you know, like talisman and things like that. You know, amulets on so you don't attract the wrong energy. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Make sure you're wearing protective talisman, amulets and stuff like that. Keep yourself safe too because we have psychic strength showing up shield talisman gold light told you some of y'all need to get a talisman and amulets in your house to shield and protect yourself gold light psychic strength you can do it with your mind some of y'all are powerful channelers even with your mind right but get a talisman to help you amplify that an amulet to help you amplify it all right they want you to have psychic strength, start channeling, start using your mind, start tapping in that my mind will protect me, right? Because I speak so much good positivity energy that your words manifest everything you need, right? Yeah, get some, get some talisman, be, see gold light surrounding your body as you empower your talisman and your, um, amulets and stuff right say prayers over them you know stuff whether it's from the bible the quran buddhism like you know buddhist buddhist quotes and readings prayers you can say we have treat your body well exercise meditate massage that's what i'm saying some of y'all could go get some chiro not chiropractor but some of y'all need to go get some tantric healing done some singing bowl meditation, some Reiki healing done on your body. Look it up, Reiki, Reiki. Just go get it. It's like 60s. You, you probably can find somebody cheap. Probably can get something done for like anywhere between 40 to a hundred dollars. I'm telling you to be the best thing. I plan to book myself one because this is spirits talking to me too. Anything that's for y'all is for me too. Like this is the collective, right? And I am always a part of y'all too. But it wants you to treat your body well. It also wants you to eat well. But it wants you to move your body. You need to move your body so energy can flow. So it stops being stagnant. You know what I mean? I haven't done my dancing today. And maybe they're upset with me that I haven't done my my dancing that I, that I do. Like they was loving my naked body, right? I told y'all how I would do naked dancing. Um, not naked dancing, but you know what I mean? Where I would dance with no clothes on and... Just allow the energy to free flow through me and stuff like that. You know what I mean? If you haven't yet, while you're checking out this reading, if you made it this far, make sure you like, share, subscribe, turn on that notification bell. Please, it is free support and it helps me continue to grow. And like I said, I would love to do a giveaway once we hit as 100 subscribers. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. That is how YouTube is going to continue to push me out. 
and all that good stuff. So like, share, subscribe, turn on that notification bell. Tell me how this reading resonated with you, where you're from. Leave a heart, all that stuff. Any, any of it helps. If you like my hair, if you like my glasses, if you enjoy seeing me on camera, let me know down below, right? We have connect with animals, animal spirit guides, healing, past pets. So some of y'all have passed on animals coming to y'all. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all, this, this is speaking specifically to someone. Some of y'all have um, pets that may have passed on that wants to connect with you, that wants to send you a message that are probably still with you because your energy, you know, some of y'all also got stuff from your passed away pet and their energy is with you. And they're trying to help you heal. All right. So they want you to connect with them. Some of y'all have pets now. Guess what? Your animal is a spirit guide. If you didn't know that. Animals, when we say, I want to talk to my spirit guide, I want to talk to your animal. I want to talk to your pet. That's a spirit guide. That's a spirit guardian. That's what pets are. And they bring you healing. Look, they want to connect with your body. Talk to them like they are people. It pisses me off when people don't think these pets are smart. Who whose spirit you think in them? <laughs> what what spirit you think in them? In the birds, the trees. What kind of spirit you think in them? It's the same shit that flows through me and you. It is they are an extension of source. If they have life, they are an extension of source. They vibrate an energy and a frequency no different than you and me. All right, so know that they have a spirit in them. Unless your dog is lab made or your cat is lab made, then it ain't got no spirit. But you know, if if it, if it is an animal from nature, then it then it has a spirit. All right, so all right, let's see. We have, have courage, strength, fearlessness, warrior. I repeat, have courage, strength, fearlessness, and warrior showing up. Oh, not her snoring. Oh, she's hella animated with her face. Hey, 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 bubba, bubba. You okay? Ooh, that dream was intense. <laughs> she was doing a whole twitchy out. <laughs> oh, crap. Maybe she was connected to this reading. I don't know. <laughs> That's why I connect with your animals came up. Maybe my dog was just connected, tapped in just now. But she was having a whole, like when she be having those intense dreams, sometimes it happens while I'm doing divination. And maybe I need to start paying more attention when I'm doing divination how animated her body is because maybe she's communing i don't know but it's it, she over there having an intense dream have courage strength fearlessness warrior showing up some of y'all gotta be strong baby it's time for y'all to walk in your truth be brave be honest show who you really are speak your truth don't be afraid to talk about things that's on your mind don't be afraid to put yourself out there we need more truth warriors. We need more spiritual warriors. Because there is something coming. I keep pulling in all my ancestor spirit angel guy readings. We all look like warriors all the time. Like that's the message that, that we need to get ready for some kind of warfare. Because it's happening. But we got to be courageous. We can't be afraid. Got to be fearless. Got to be a warrior. No matter what, got to be fearless and a warrior and move with love and light in your heart. Connect with the animals and nature. Balance yourself, direction, growth, life stages. Some of y'all need to seek balance. You're out of sync. That's why you need to work with your body. Some of y'all need to do, again, some crystal healing. Play some chakra music. Play some singing bowls. Do some dancing. Join a dance class. 
Go to the gym, exercise, work out, work out. Move your body, go walking. You know, eat better, drink teas. Make sure you're supplementing. Some of y'all are also going, this is speaking of spiritual changes, growth, right? Life changes, elevations, elevating, spiritual elevation, direction. Spirit is moving you into a specific direction. Then we have get into nature, coexistence, gather, limit waste. Yeah, they want us to stop polluting the earth. Limit the waste. She's, this is why she's lashing out. We're, we're polluting the waters, in particular the waters where I think the gods rest the most. Like there is something about the water. I think the water is our oceans, our gateways to other realms. I think our waters are portals to other dimensions. I think the water is... Um, It's how we connect to the source, like to the highest realms is through water, right? So we need to stop polluting the water. Like if you can donate to companies, organizations, really do your homework and look up organizations that help clean the ocean. I'm serious. Help them fund. Go volunteer if you can. If you live in like California, because I know they do this in Cali. I don't know if there's organizations like on the coast, the East Coast. They need, they, there should be. Who literally go out there and they like scoop up as much stuff if they, as they can and stuff like that. But we need to start limiting our waste. Stop buying shit you don't need. This also talks about that. Like a lot of us buy so much junk and shit that's sitting around our house that we don't need. It's waste. It's wasteful. Gather, right? Coexistence. We need to start learning how to coexist with nature, right? Um... Start planting, start gardening, start a garden. That's coexisting with nature. Feeding nature, right? Planting things, plant trees, right? Not just male trees. Plant plant female trees. We need to start planting trees. Plant fruit trees. Do all kinds of gardening you can do, all right? But get in the nature every day, exercise, ground every day, water, water your stuff as much as you can, right? Um, and limit the waste, start donating and volunteering to help Mother Earth, seriously. That's why Mother Earth is fighting our asses so hard. She's sick of us. I can't stop pulling how much the Earth is sick of us. How Mother Nature is ready to beat our ass like a parent. I'm serious. That we're harming the rest of the world, right? I mean, not the world, but like the eco space, space itself. Our planet is so low, low vibrational and toxic that I think we literally are permeating like a fart into the universe. Like a bad, like bad gas into the universe. And that's why the aliens and inner earth is coming out. And I think inner earth is in the water too. Like whatever, any entrance to shit is in that water. As below, as, a, as above, so below. Everything is below us. Inner earth is somehow like... You know, like a door may be somewhere above, but like then goes down. Something like that. Serious. And they're about to start coming to surface because they're sick of us. Open to love, relationships, passion, fulfillment. Be open to love in your life, y'all. And be loving, be giving, be compassionate. Super important. Be compassionate, be loving, be open to love and be open to giving love, right? Work on the relationships in your life. Be passionate in your life. Seek fulfillment in everything you do. Be content with what you have. Be grateful, speak with gratitude in your life. 
right? Be grateful for everything you have. Nurture your relationships. That's what open a love and relationships is all about. Nurturing your relationships. Nurture your loved one. If you are in a relationship with someone, nurture your fucking partner, okay? Like, be open to love and be loving to them. Be passionate. Like, a lot of relationships are struggling to find passion. Find y'all fucking passion again and light it up. Or find someone who will light your world up. Who will be that passion, who will be that fire, who will be that spark, who will light your world on fire, who give you butterflies, right? Who will fulfill you, but you got to find fulfillment within yourself and love yourself. We have clear your mind, be present, focus, embrace. So being present and clearing your mind is all about like when y'all are doing things with your family and friends get off your phone stop TikToking, stop instagramming stop youtubing be present when you're at events when you're when you're out at restaurants tell you like the don't give your children gadgets right take them off gadgets okay make your children be present Stop giving them phones, iPads, all that stuff. Teach your children how to be present in a moment. When y'all watching a movie, it's movie time. When y'all at the dinner table, it's dinner time. When y'all out and about, it's out and about time. We create these addictions for our children, right? We have the power. Just like when I tell y'all my son has been the only person in his classes probably for the last few years who hasn't had TikTok. He hasn't had TikTok, he hasn't had Snapchat, he doesn't have Instagram, he hasn't had access to none of that shit on his phone. If he's watching it at schools because his friends and that's fine because that means it's a moderate amount because he's going through classes and he's a good kid and he gets good grades and he stays out of trouble. And the greatest thing I could have ever done as a parent is make sure he doesn't have access to none of that shit. He has YouTube on the weekends. That's it. And that's monitored. Like, I know his YouTube stuff. Like, I don't play when it comes to what he's consuming. Like, he doesn't have a TV in his bedroom. He has a TV in there, but he doesn't use it. He goes in games and stuff in the living room and then none. When he goes to bed, I don't let him go to bed with a TV on. There's no cable, no nothing. He doesn't sleep with a TV on. No phone, no iPad, none of that shit. When he sleep, when it's bedtime, it's bedtime. People can say what they want, but I think I've done great parenting with my son. And I've raised a really sweet, down-to-earth human being. And I'm really proud of my parenting because it's come a long way. Come, especially compared to how I was raised. And, and how I was raising them earlier. Like, I, I used to let them be the distractive, like, it had iPads, all that stuff with my mom. Because my mom helped raise them, especially in their early years, because I worked all the time, so they spent more time with her. And it was always an iPad, this, that, gadgets, all that stuff. And I was like, no, mm -mm, we changing all that. Because I see what it does to people. It, it makes people mentally unwell. It makes people insecure. It makes people have low self-esteem. It makes people... Uh, suicidal like it makes people unhealthy it makes people sick so like things like that scares the shit out of me you know what I mean for my own kid and I was like I have to moderate and monitor what he consumes watches and feeds himself so I do the same now right and that's why I say this like people don't talk about it because they're like oh but my kid will get mad so what so what? Are you the parent or no? Right? Like, you gotta, you have to watch what you let your children consume. I, like, I don't let him, he love. he loves horror movies, right? He loves horror stuff. And I had to cut all that shit out too. Like, I'm telling y'all, y'all have to start stepping in because we, we are creating this future generation. We are responsible for what we're putting out in the world. Like, I want to make sure when he leaves my house at 18, 19, whatever, because he's going to college or whatever, or if he chooses not to go to college, he's going to go to some type of school to get certifications. I really want him to be a plumber because I'm like, even in the AI world, somebody got a toilet somewhere. 
all right? There's still some type of toilet system, right? Like, there's many things I want him to go get classifications and that'll always be a job that I know he can always have a career in, you know? I think there's nothing like going back to sending your kid to a trade school, you know what I mean? If you have the means and the resources, like I plan to try to look next year to send him to a trade high school so he can start getting his certifications for everything earlier, whether it's mechanic, anything. Like, just some advice, you guys. Start really cultivating these kids, all right? Col even if you don't have children, like, well, I don't have children, so this part doesn't concern me. If you're an aunt, help cultivate your nieces and nephews. You know what I mean? So... Be clear, be present in your life, focus and embrace your environments, whatever it is you're doing. Be creative, spend time being creative, be, spend time writing, spend time listening to music, creating music, creating art, you know, being present with your family, your loved ones, spend time by the beach, by the water, spend time by nature. They want me to burp, like they gave me so much gas about being present. Like being in the moment like that. I was meant to spend a lot of time on that car. I apologize, but they really want me to convey that because they, I think it bothers them so much how we let our children escape distractions, you know, live in escapism, live in distractions, right? Play video games hours on end and I let my son do it a lot this summer because I was so focused on my store but I told him now that it's school time I'm gonna be on his butt like you know it's cool to have distractions every now and again right but I told him I was on his butt this year like and during even during the summer I would make him take two three days off no xbox he was up there drawing all that stuff I had him reading certain books he was supposed to read a lot more but I'm gonna get him he, he don't even know it. He's going to be playing catch up all this fall. Move your body, dance, breathe, and flow. So it's really like, this is like double message of being outside, being by the water, dancing, flowing. I told y'all really, if you can dance, if you're, if this is for the ladies watching me, dance with your ties and a breeze to the fellas, just dance in your boxers. Like the less clothes, the better because that's how spirit and our ancestors commune with us is with our bodies it's i don't know how to describe it because clothes didn't exist back then for them like think of i'm talking about real ancient ancestors right there was these minimal materials yes i'm not saying that material they didn't cover their private parts they did but women ties were out right so just you know but with beads on them and all kind of stuff right so just learn to embrace your body. I don't care if your tits sag. I don't care if you got a fupa. I don't care if you got love handles. I don't care if you got a gut belly. I don't care. Love yourself, baby. I love you. That body is popping. Your ancestors love your body. And the more you love your body and get out of this, 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 you know, body shame, dysphoria and all this stuff of not loving your body and yourself and become more comfortable in your skin and allow yourself to flow, breathe and dance. You are going to create the body you want. All right. Start cooking. Cook. Cooking is another way to channel your ancestors. While you're cooking, tell your ancestors, cook with me, ancestors. I love you. Cook with me. And that's how they commune too. That's why my grandmother has been beating my ass to cook because that's how she wants to communicate with me is through my food. That's why my food probably be so bomb. Because I, by the way, it's crazy because when I cook, I don't take measurements. My partner will tell y'all he's in here. I don't cook with measurements. Everything I do is freehand and it'll be some of the best food you had. Like when I really want to put my foot in the food, I could cook my ass off and I don't use measurements. Every time I cook, it's a different experience. I'll cook the same meal and every fucking time it tastes different. <laughs> like, I don't use measurements. And I always think it's because it's my ancestors with me guiding me on the ingredients, the amounts I need and all that stuff. Like, it's, it's, it's a spiritual thing, right? I kind of, I let go and I flow while I cook, right? You know, I'll look up some instructions and stuff like that and ingredients and I'll look at measure, look up measurements, right? When it's like coming towards milk or like, you know, almond milk, cause I don't drink milk. I drink almond milk. Um, like if you drink rice milk or any of that stuff, um, you know, 
you can look up stuff for that because you you know you probably kind of need to but outside of that baby baby girl cooks free flow right but dance breathe and flow and move your body babies move your body poor i send my prayers to hawaii seriously all of hawaii all of hawaii i send y'all big love i do i send love to any islands right now that are going through it we have awaken your inner shaman connect invoke heal i say this again y'all awaken your inner shaman connect invoke heal play some drums let me show y'all something i got for my ancestors I got a rattle. It's a little, it's like a little Morocco shaker. So y'all can say, I bought this. Little handmade Morocco, handmade shaker. You know, to shake around my altar and through my room while I dance. Right? Because that's oh, it's invoking my ancestors, right? Invoking my spirit guides. Invoking my, you know, the deities that I commune and work with, the goddesses I commune with. Um, so yeah, connect to your inner shaman, connect to your inner inner spirit, right? Your inner spirit team. Invoke them. Invoke them while dancing. Invoke them while playing music. Heal. Learn to heal. Heal. Let them help you heal, right? Ask your ancestors to help you heal. Ask your spirit angel guides to help you heal, right? Ask your, your your team to help you heal, right? Commune with them, dance with them, play music around them, right? Invoke healing. That's how you could channel too. Some of y'all might channel through dancing naked. I'm serious. While playing like a drum, get a little handheld drum, get a tambourine. Oh my God, get a little tambourine, be playing your tambourine while the crystal bowls or different music is playing. I'm serious. Watch. Play some shaman music while dancing. Connect with past loved ones is coming up. Sense, feel, reconnect. The dead wants to commune. So that's why we got awaken your inner shaman and become a medium. Because look, the ancestors are here during this reading. They are coming through. Your passed on loved ones want to connect to you. You saw passed on animals. So the other side is trying to communicate with us, right? We have to stop being afraid of the other dimension, right? The transition, the spirit realm. The spirit realm is trying to communicate with us. The ancestors are trying to communicate with us. Our departed animals, our departed family, our departed loved ones, right? They want us to awaken so they can help us heal, so they can connect with us, right? But we have to invoke them. We have to honor them. Set up an ancestral altar, you guys. Find a little table, a little space, little dresser, something. Put a white sheet on it. Light a white candle. Um, get some incense. Put a picture of whoever you want to put on the altar. Add some flowers. Done. All right? Maybe put like their favorite food that you know of on the altar. Favorite snack, favorite dessert, anything. Scent. They want you to sense, feel, and reconnect with them. They're all around you. So this is a message that they want to connect with you. And that if you're watching this reading, ask them to let you feel them. Say, ancestors, spirit guides, passed on loved ones, I want to reconnect with you. Please allow me to sense and feel you now. Ancestor spirit guides, passed on loved ones, allow me to reconnect with you. I want to sense and feel and reconnect with you, right? Ancestor spirit guides, passed on loved ones, I want to reconnect with you. Please allow me to sense and feel you now. All right? Like I felt like something on my hands and on my thigh, like something touched my thigh as I said that. Reconnect with Mother Earth. Plant, garden, harvest. And like someone gave me a hug. Hello, ancestor spirit guys that's here with me now. Passed on loved ones. I love you. I appreciate you always protecting and guiding me. Thank you. 
Thank you for walking with me. Thank you for being with me. They love gratitude, by the way. Reconnect with Mother Earth. Plant, garden, harvest. What I tell y'all? Mother Earth needs us gardening. Mother Earth needs us to water our, our flowers, our trees, water our trees, water our plants, water our rose bushes, our little, our little buds, anything. Right? She needs us planting good food. By the way, because when you garden, that's a that's nature, that's nurturing, that's loving, that's giving, right? So do some gardening, plant some trees, plant some rosemary, plant, plant tomatoes, just plant whatever you can and then harvest it. But while you're gardening and planting, sing to Mother Nature. Play vi play high vibrational music. Play some light language music to Mother Nature. Put your hands in the ground. I did it today. I put my hands and my feet in the ground said, I love you, Mother Nature. I thank you, Mother Nature. I love you, Mother Nature. I thank you, Mother Nature. I love you, Mother Nature. I thank you, Mother Nature. Right? Pour into Gaia the way she pours into you. Right? So when you're doing grounding, ground with your hands and your feet. And tell Mother Gaia, thank you. So we have Nike showing up because today is the 13th Divine Feminine Energy. And I asked who wanted to come through. We have Nike, Speed, Strength, and Victory. So Nike's trying to come through with Speed, Strength, and Victory. Some of y'all might work with Nike or Nike and, or may need to work with Nike. And Nike wants to tell us. This is the goddess within is calling us. Even if you're a man, doesn't matter. These, I assure you, goddesses love when men honor them. It means victory is yours. Use your strength, courage, and determination to get what you want. Go where you want to go and be who you want to be. Show up as your authentic self. Have the courage and the strength. All right? Go where you want to go. Do what you want to do. Spirit is going to support you. If you're like, oh, I don't have the money. Trust me. Spirit will help you find the money. Morgan Le Fay is showing up with divination, magic, power, and witchcraft for us. Right? More of the, one of the darker femme fatales. Right? The, 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 the darker uh, divine feminine. Right? And consider darker just because... Uh, you know, Morgan's more considered, like a lot of people associate her with more occultic, you know, because magic, right? So she's, she's more considered occultic. But we have Morgan LaFay, Morgan LaFay showing up to us. Um, but you, by the way, in case y'all didn't know, Morgan's name is is the fairy. So Morgan might be queen of the fairies. Seriously. That chuckle I heard out in my backyard legit might have been her. Now that I think about it. Right? Embrace your power. Remember your magic. And remember you are magic. Use your magic to heal and help. Heal you. Use your magic to heal and help yourself and others. So... Make sure y'all are out here using your magic for good. Some of y'all be out here hexing people and all kind of shit. And that's a... So, no, no, no. That is a no, no, no. And when that shit come back to return the cinder on you, better be careful. Because what you wish negatively on somebody comes back tenfold. Don't think you're exempt. I'm serious. Be careful out here hexing people. Um, um, the amount of people who be hexing, casting spells on people is crazy out here in these streets. Be safe. Vesta is showing up for us, which is altar, sacred space, home. Didn't I tell y'all they want an altar? They want a home altar. Vesta is saying, see your home as a sacred sanction sanctuary. Create a loving and harmonious home that nourishes and feels feeds your soul but remember home is not a place it is where the heart is so you know the expression home is where the heart is you know that's what my uh vesta is saying thank you vesta 
Thank you, Morgan LaFay. Thank you, Nike. Mayat is coming up for us next, you guys. We have Mother Mayat showing up. Mayat is telling us justice, balance, truth. She represents the scales. In case y'all are unaware too. Let's see what Mayat wants to tell us. Right now, Mayat wants us to know. Do what is right. Live with a light heart. Seek harmony and speak your truth with love. Right. You don't need to speak the truth harshly. Speak it with love and compassion and empathy. But do what is right for you. And do what is right when you see there's injustice happening in front of you. Don't stand there. That's karma, y'all. Whether you knew it or not, when you just stand there, that's a karma within itself. Because if you could have stopped something bad from happening and you didn't, there's a karma within that in itself. And I wish more people talked about that. If you see somebody getting robbed, why would you just stand there? Call 911. You know what I mean? Ask the person if they're okay. That's empathy, that's compassion, and that's doing the right thing. And watch how your life is rewarded. Right? Live with a light heart. Light in y'all's heart. Because when you die and your heart is weighed against the feather, you don't want your heart heavier than the feather. That's my aunt who weighs the heart, you guys, with Anubis. Seek harmony and speak your truth with love because that's how you light in your heart. Lady Sarah is showing up. Divine union, new earth, oneness, holy grail. what I tell y'all? I told y'all, new earth. If you go back and watch my other readings, I've been talking about how the earth is going through a rebirth and a new time is coming. A new day, yes it is, is on the brink. Holy grail, divine union. The divine is about to reveal itself. I'm telling you. Like those who are already on their spiritual journey is going to connect with the divine in a major way, like a marriage with the divine. All right. Oneness. We're going to become one with divine source. I'm telling you, those who are already awakened are going to get crazy downloads and get spiritual glow ups. Mark my words. If you are moving in faith and love and light, Watch how your life about to change when this new earth come up. I'm telling you, during the spiritual shift that's happening, watch all the good you attract in your life. A new day is dawning. This is what Lady Sarah wants to tell us. Oh, I meant to say it. Thank you, Mayat. I honor and I thank you, Mayat. Excuse me, that's a confirmation. A new day is dawning. You are a part of a new wave of unity and love. Balance the energies within you first so you can assist in the awakening of the new world. What I tell y'all, there's a spiritual awakening. There is a spiritual shift. But you have to have the courage to walk in your spiritual truth. You have to speak your spiritual truth without being hateful to others. While respecting other people's faith in the spiritual journeys. We are all one with the divine. I don't care if you call the divine God, source, whatever you resonate with. As long as you respect people's uh, faiths, I'm serious. We all, at the end of the day, we all connect with love though. All right? And we all connect with the light. So be the light in people's lives. Be loving in people's lives. Be compassionate in people's lives. A new day, and I'm telling you, and a spiritual awakening is coming. There will be a new wave of love and unity coming because we are going to have to rebalance the earth. I'm telling y'all, balance the energies within you first so you can be a part of the calling, the, the ones that are chosen that's going to assist in the awakening of the new world. Seriously. Thank you, Lady Sarah. We honor and we thank you. At Targatus, I have been pulling the myrrh people this speaks of Lumeria and Atlantis, y'all. I'm telling you, Atargatis, the, the mermaid sirens are about to come to surface. Mar uh, you know where you heard it first. Lumeria and Atlantis coming up. Whatever is about to happen, whatever aliens or species we gonna contact gonna come from the water. Mark where you heard it first. That's why we have Atargatis coming up, Mer Magic Deep Diving Transformation. 
That's go by the ocean so you can communicate with them, y'all. I'm telling you, mer magic, deep diving, transformation, so they can help heal you, cleanse you, and purify you. Atergatus. Like, I never heard of no Atergatus. Me neither, loves. It's A T A R G A T I S. Atergatus. A T A R G A. T-I-S. Beautiful, though. All right. That's where Ariel come from, under the sea, right there. All right. Atargatus was the first mermaid. She was one of the main goddesses of Assyria. Uh, Assyria, present-day Syria, and parts of Iraq. Around 1000 BCE, before her worship spread into Greece, Rome, and other parts of the Mediterranean. She is the goddess of fertility and a protector, and she looks after all those who call upon her. She fell in love with a mortal man called Hadai, but she was too powerful and accidentally killed him. Her heartbreak was too much to bear with, so she threw herself into the ocean. The gods thought she was too beautiful to die, and they saved her. But her deep dive into the ocean had transformed her into a mermaid. Call on Atragatus in times of heartbreak or challenges and let her journey to the depths with you, guiding your way back up to the light. Remember that heartbreak can be a catalyst for the most powerful transformation. I felt the need to read that because I think she's been trying to commune with a lot of people. It is time to transform. Let go of the old. The old world is dying of who you used to be and step into the light of the new you. That speaks of spiritual transformations, you guys. Elevations. Let go of the old ways of thinking let go of the old ways of talking to yourself and how you talk to others. Let go of the old ways of the indoctrinations and the things you've been drilled in your head. Think for yourself, you know, and feed good things into your mind. Speak good things out of your mouth, right? And remember and, rem you know, let go of the old you are and step into the light of the new you. Time for that rebirth. That's that Kali energy, right? Transformation. Like some of us, I'm telling you, are going to find out we come from the water, from the sea. Some some of us are descendants of mer people. I'm telling you. Take a pilgrimage to the ocean, a lake, or any body of water you can access and immerse yourself if you can. Put your hands and your feet in it. That's a lake. That's an ocean. Do this with intention that old is being cleared. Put your hands and feet in the water. Do this with the intention that old is being cleared and cleansed. Know you can move forward on a clear path ahead. Take the lake or the ocean water, throw it over your head, put your hands and feet in it, meditate. I'm telling y'all, you're welcome. All right, you guys, that's it for this reading. I love you guys. I appreciate you. I hope this reading resonated. Oh, wait, hold up, hold up. I'm being told to grab something off here. Hold up. Hold up. Let me shuffle. Hold up. I'm actually being told to pull off the top. Hold up. I was just about to close up. I was told to use my my handmade goods, my own divination tools. Hold up. I got told dress for success, get out the COVID clothes. Oh. Dress for success, get out of the COVID clothes. Some of y'all might be wearing sweats too much. Um, they want y'all to dress up. It's time to step in that divine feminine, start dressing sexier, more feminine. I, you know, however that resonates to my men, get your ass in some suits. It, you know, start dressing up. Dress for success. Dress like the joy you want to radiate, right? Dress like the joy you want to feel. Get out of the COVID clothes. Spiritual glow sitting at the bottom. I told y'all, spiritual glow ups is coming to people. Some of y'all are radiating this light, this beautiful energy. Sorry if that was an attack, if you've been in sweat clothes too long. Sorry. Sorry, I understand. Some of y'all work from home and you're like, I can't. You can, boo. Get out them clothes. Put on something that'll make you feel good, I promise. Go out. Have a cocktail or something. Be safe, though. 
We got divorce, separation coming up. Some of y'all might be going through a divorce or a separation currently. My condolences, my apologies, but this is possibly how you're going to rebirth this transformation through separating and divorce. And we have, hold up, clairvoyant. Some of y'all are going to, are clairvoyant and going to start getting downloads. I'm telling you, you're going to have the gift of sight. You're going to have divine sight, start seeing things before it happens. And Anubis is showing up. Anubis wants to alter. So if you have a dog, you might definitely need to get an Anubis statue in your house. Set up a place for Anubis. Get a get an Anubis statue, light it, put a candle in front of him, put some incense, um, and buy like one of his favorite crystals. That easy, simple. If you have a dog, you definitely should have an Anubis altar. If you have a cat, you definitely should have a Beset altar. But Anubis is showing up for us. And that can speak to the divine masculine. So that, the you know, Anubis is very masculine as well. And that's also the underworld. And that goes back to that, uh, what did I tell y'all? The underworld wanting to commune the our past on loved ones. See? There we go. Look at that. Connect to your deceased loved ones. That's the underworld talking. The other side. So hopefully this reading resonated with some of you guys. Um, I appreciate you being here. I thank y'all so much for the support. Um, I send you all your power back cleanse with love, light, and protection. I send you all your power back cleanse with love, light, and protection. I send you all your power back cleanse with love, light, and protection. I call all my power back cleanse and purify with love, light, and protection. I call all my power back cleanse and purify with love, light, and protection during this reading. I really appreciate you guys. I now cut and disconnect this energy. I cut and I disconnect this reading. I cut and disconnect our, our energies tied together. I hope this reading resonated. I hope you liked it. I hope um, I always leave you with some wisdom, some encouragement. Just know you can do it, love. Put one foot before the next. Continue to read. Continue to educate yourself. Um, continue to study. You know what I mean? Stop hexing. Stop, st stop putting negative spell casting into the world. Because it's low vibrational. Um, don't worry about return to sender. Just get protective talisman and protective amulets to wear. And, um, you know, start putting protective stuff around your house and windows and you'll be all right. And wear, you know, necklaces, crystals. Get you some tourmaline, some amethyst necklaces and bracelets to wear. And get an amulet that makes you, you know, that'll protect you. An eye of horror's peace will work too. You know different things you can do if you have any questions always ask down below let me know where you're from how this reading resonated leave a heart down below make sure to like 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 comment please turn on that notification bell and most of all subscribe 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 you guys because no one's gonna pour love into you the way i do and i will be your biggest cheerleader and biggest supporter that big sister we all need and i'm trying to be the big sister i wish i had in my life so i'm here to be yours so with that being said you guys i hope you guys have an amazing week i hope you manifest everything you've been wanting to work on this month I hope you stay focused. I hope you continue to grow. I hope you continue to be empathetic and compassionate and loving even to those who may not be worthy and deserving. But because you move from love and light, you you will you will be the love and the light in the world. All right. So I hope y'all have a great day. Thank you so much for supporting. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the shares. Um, thank you for the shares. I definitely see the shares going up and all that too. So thank y'all so much for sharing me on your social media or anything like that. Thank you for the support. Um, I send y'all love and light. I send you love and light. I pray abundance. I pray protection. I pray love over your life and, uh, I pray you stay safe and I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>